all right so first uh, let's set some padding around this uh, username on all four sites and this password on all four sites using code all right for that I'll create an integer at the top which will be simply called padding value over here outside and the reason why I'm doing that is I can change the value at one shot by saying padding value over here and I'm gonna give 10 initially 10 DP all right and now I need to find this username text view which is username there you go so create username must be the method there you go create username text view. this is the method inside this I'm gonna say username dot set padding on all four sites what I need is 10 DP so for that I'm gonna say use the padding uh, value over here for all the parameters the same thing I need to do for this password text as well so I'm gonna copy paste the same statement go to the password text view over here and here I'm gonna use say password dot set padding all right so things look a little better right now because of the padding of 10 DP from all four sites as you guys can see that clearly again for this please log in first a uh, good uh, 10 DP padding on the left and some I don't know 50 60 DP at the top should do good so let's go and do that here as well for this please log in first which is called message over here I believe let's find that method create message text view here I need to go there and say message for the top I'm gonna put so, so probably something like uh, 100 DP for the right again the we can keep padding padding value as it is and for the bottom again padding value now this will exactly make this come look uh, come down right so let's go and see how that looks here all right so you guys can see something after we put 100 dp for the padding top you guys can see this is pushed all the way down just like this all right now things are coming closer and closer to what we want right all right so at this point we are done completely building our user interface using relative layouts in java code so you guys can see what a hectic work that was it's 130 lines of code just for making this stuff you have not even added colors to this the only matter thing that remains to be done is to change the uh, text color to white and the background color to black and this will look just the way you saw in the image so i hope you guys have understood something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day all right so in the next video we are gonna continue further from where we have left if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next bit have a nice day